Welcome back to Modern Motors. My name is Ricky and this is my wife Crystal. To the channel, welcome. If you like the content that we're putting out, make sure you give us a thumbs up and leave a comment on what future content you'd like to see. I took the keys away from Crystal uh, for the Julia and she only had the Abarth drive. Um, so you'll watch her uh, stall that out like about 10 times. <laughs> and then here on Modern Motors, we don't do anything slow, so we're jumping her into a race against Jimmy. Technically, this only has 65 horsepower, so opposed to 160 in the Abarth. So technically, this should be an easy race, uh, but Crystal doesn't know how to drive, so this should, should, should be interesting, to say the least. <laughs> and we didn't say, Jose's back. This is his Jimmy. Um, yeah. So welcome, Jose, back to the channel. You guys know I don't drive manual. You know, it's one thing driving manual and having your husband in the car telling you what to do, but it's another thing driving manual and you're by yourself. Be cool, be cool. I think I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Ricky took away my alpha keys. He said the only way I'm going to learn is by driving. Honestly, I have been putting it off and putting it off. I guess I should tell you guys where I'm going. Um, I'm going to the bank to pull out some money. I guess I should put it first gear, huh? Okay, we're not going there. <laughs> and I just stalled. Oh God, I'm gonna go home guys, for real. Oh, oh God, I just stalled again. <laughs> I'm going! So that was embarrassing. I stalled three times at a stoplight. The person behind me honked at me and had to go around me because I was taking too long. And it's not like I can talk, I mean, I can talk to you guys, right? can't respond to me you know what's even worse about driving the, the barth my windows are not tinted so they see exactly who's driving this car took me 30 minutes I'm just kidding the amount of stress it took to get here was just not necessary now I have to drive home I texted Ricky when I got out of the bank because I was just so frustrated he told me to relax and be calm but it's hard to be calm when it feels like you're being rushed you know when the when the lights green because I've been that person where you're behind someone and the light's green and you're like, all right, buddy, like, let's go. Yeah, I was that person today. Hey, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> He's stalling. <laughs> Did you stall on your way here? No. <sighs> it was so embarrassing. We're, we're pretty sure we're not allowed here, but to make things worse, we're gonna go jump on this pile of dirt, or Jose's at least gonna attempt to, so we can get an amazing thumbnail for you all. Great. We're officially gonna get kicked out. Yep, that's cool. Action. 
So Ricky's not here right now, so in the meantime, I'm going to interview Jose about his Jimny. So it's a 1992 Suzuki Jimny, uh, three cylinder turbo, 660 cc, it's pretty much a motorcycle engine almost. It's very slow, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose all these races today, even with a head start. It's specifically made to off-road. It's four-wheel drive. It's one of the first full four-wheel drives available in the States. I still leave spring suspension all the way around. A lot of people get mad because off-road it. It's very nice. It's a really, it's in really nice condition, but uh, yeah, five-speed standard. Small, very tiny turbo, about the size of my fist. I love it. It's one of my favorite cars. I did add shackles to raise it. The front bumper, nothing really. So that didn't come with it? No. Uh, huh. it, came, it didn't even have a front bumper when I bought it. Huh. And I didn't have shock because it was very low. But other than that, I put an HKS block valve that does not work now. <laughs> so that's something fun. I added a roof rack, put another extra tire up there. Got these off of a rock sore. Um, the Cragger soft dates on 29 inch tires, nothing special. I personally don't know anything about importing. Can you tell me how you imported the car and how, how long it took because of COVID? I had my friend, um, Kerry, help me buy it at the auction in Japan. He's got a uh, company out there, Case JDM Auto. Okay. We went through the process of looking for one at auction. We found one at very, very cheap. So we jumped on it. We won the auction, and from there he had to ship to his shop. Then he went through the process of shipping it to the states. It took about three months because it came through a boat. So because of the the COVID lockdown, I decided to get the quarantine plates. Man. Cool story behind it. First gear, guys. Let's remember. <laughs> that was actually better, guys. That fucking shifting, bro. Fools, I'm getting better. Y'all don't even know. So I lost about, well, by about two car lengths. Not too bad, but I'm not really getting anywhere with 65 horsepower. This thing tops out at 60 miles an hour on the highway at 5,000 RPM. Slow as shit, honestly. But as you guys can see, I'm a professional race car driver now. So me and Jose are one and one. He beat me in the 240 versus the Julia. I beat him in the Abarth. Now, neither of those races were fair, but <laughs> that's the score right now. I literally don't know how you go from literally stalling out one video and then the, and then the next clip you're literally banging through gears it literally makes no sense i'm just a quick learner and my you're, you're smartness absolutely, you're absolutely right I'm, I'm a great teacher you're, <laughs> you're trying to say wow thank you for teaching me so quickly. i think i'm just naturally born to do this <laughs> so that's where we're gonna end today's video um, we tried making it as interesting as possible for you guys um, we're still waiting to get back to the supra um, and then I know we have plans for the BRZ. I'm pulling that out of the garage because it's been there for like months already. Oh, so you're lying. <laughs> One year already is what I meant to say. <laughs> it's been sitting in the garage. Thank you. But in order to make modded motors more interesting for you all, let us know which, what future content you like to see, whether it's alpha related, whatever you guys are looking for. I know we're getting close to 200 subscribers, which is really cool. Thank you everyone who's been subscribing. Uh, I know we say this every video, but I'm gonna continue to say it because we greatly appreciate it. I know that those, those clips don't really explain what happened with Crystal, but she stalled <laughs> multiple times. It was very cringy to I don't watch. I think it was multiple times. Multiple times. I don't it, think it, it was, was really either. hard to it was watch. It's very educational. We're actually selling the, the Barth now. <laughs> Here is your sign. If you do not know how to drive manual and you're dying to know, buy the manual car, take it for a day, and the next day you'll literally be banging through gears just driving, racing people. Because your own skills kick in. Not because anybody taught you, that's ridiculous. Uh, I don't think that's factual at all. So next week we have a video for you guys, um, giving you a little bit more background of who I am, who Crystal is, since there's almost 200 of you guys, um, letting you guys know who we are and why we even started Modern Motors. Yeah. Um, we'll be recording that over uh, the next few days. Uh, we'll be posting that Monday as, as always. I don't know if you guys caught it in the last video, uh, but Crystal is currently pregnant. Um, she kind of talked through that during the driving, but she kept stalling out, so it wasn't a clip yeah, I, I, I don't think that was it. <laughs> but 
Um, yeah, uh, this weekend is our gender reveal, so we're going to find out what we're going to have. Um, so in the midst of all that, we'll be kind of going through and telling, telling you guys about our lives um, and, and how we got here. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, make sure you subscribe and, and look forward for the video on Monday. Yep. If you guys didn't get it in the last video, uh, which we said at the end of the bloopers, uh, Crystal is pregnant, uh, carrying, I think, my child, hopefully. <laughs> we haven't got the DNA results. I don't know yet, but I'm praying she's designed. I'm not. He's not the father. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you know, life could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Shaboom, hello.